Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we will look at some recent news covering the period from the 16th to the 23rd of January, 2024. Featuring Zimbabwe, the USA, California, Utah, North Dakota and New Mexico, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan and the UAE, India, Panama, the UAE, Geoengineering, SAI, SRM, SRMGI, and the United Nations. Sources are posted in the description section of this video. Zimbabwe. Ongoing. Source reliability, 100%. The Chronicle reported on the 15th of January, with an article titled, Flying Rainmakers, 400,000 US dollar, cloud seeding program takes off. The weather modification flight took off from the Joshua Mabuko Nkomo International Airport in Bulawayo. A meteorological services department, MSD, technician, Ms. Violet Nguenia, is one of two cloud seeders in Bulawayo, which services the southern part of the country. It is claimed that atmospheric moisture redistribution was started in 2015. California, USA. Ongoing. Source reliability. 100%. The Daily Pilot reported on the 14th of January that a new pilot program from a joint powers authority hopes to boost precipitation in the Santa Ana River watershed. This is part of a four-year program which started in November 2023. California has been redistributing its atmospheric moisture yearly from the early 1950s, which means it is now in its 75th year. The new program term is misleading and inaccurate. The same misleading information appears in an ABC7 eyewitness news article on the 21st of January. SoCal water officials test cloud seeding in effort to increase region's water supply. The four-year pilot program launched in November with an aim to increase precipitation by 5% to 15%. The usage of the words test and pilot program lead people to believe it is new when it is absolutely not new. Utah, USA Source reliability, 100%. BNN Breaking reports on the 16th of January that, a groundbreaking study, led by scientists from the University of Utah and Boise State University, funded by the U.S. National Science Foundation, has shed light on the role of biological agents in ice formation. The research, published in the prestigious Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, has far-reaching implications, from snowmaking, to cloud seeding, and helping us better understand the interplay between life, climate, and precipitation. Utah has had a weather modification program since the early 1950s. North Dakota, USA. Ongoing. Source reliability, 100%. In 2022, according to a March press release at io.nd.government, Watford City Municipal Airport was recognized as North Dakota's 2022 General Aviation Airport of the Year. They received it for excellence in community outreach, because of their fly-in drive-ins, support of weather modification and crop spraying to aid farmers. It is known that the North Dakota Cloud Modification Project operated from 1976, New Mexico, USA, proposed. Source Reliability, 100%. The KRQE News Outlet has reported, via Curtis Cigar on 17 January, that a New Mexico lawmaker wants to explore cloud seeding to combat climate change, he states that lawmakers are debating a range of issues up at the roundhouse, and one lawmaker is looking to put money towards so-called cloud seeding. Chatfield's bill seeks to put nearly $2 million towards new cloud seeding operations. The cash would flow through New Mexico State University. Currently, the New Mexico Interstate Stream Commission is in charge of similar programs. They have approved experiments by a Texas-based company, called Seeding Operations and Atmospheric Research. Weather modification was introduced in New Mexico in the early 1970s, Saudi Arabia. Ongoing. Source Reliability, 100%. The Middle East Economy reported on 15 January, with a bullet point headline, Achieving Sustainability and Sustainable Development Goals in Line with Saudi Vision 2030. The article about recycling and tree planting has one off-topic sentence, Saudi Arabia also adopted the cloud seeding program to increase rainfall. It is known that weather modification, 
atmospheric moisture redistribution, is neither sustainable or environmentally sound, due to the well-known negative consequences. Adding cloud seeding into a conversation with sustainable recycling soundbites, does not make it environmentally friendly. MSN also carries a similar article, Saudi Environment Ministry announces recycling plan, which includes a brief mention of the active weather modification program, Pakistan. Ongoing. Source reliability, 100%. The Pakistan Today newspaper, reports on the 15th of January that, the cure for smog is rain, which was not happening naturally. However, due to the efforts of Punjab Chief Minister Mohsin Makvi, with the support of the United Arab Emirates, artificial rain was successfully tested for the first time in Pakistan. This is a fabrication, as it is not the first time Pakistan has utilized atmospheric moisture redistribution, which we'll see in a bit, and more importantly the cure for smog is not rain. The cure for smog is to stop carrying out the activities that create the man-made smog. This article is typical of the societal brainwashing via neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, that accompanies reporting on weather modification activities. The Associated Press of Pakistan, APP, published on 17 January that, members of the United Arab Emirates, UAE, team, who orchestrated artificial rainfall in Lahore recently, called on caretaker Chief Minister Punjab Mohsin Nakvi, at his office on Wednesday. The CM greeted the team members, expressing gratitude individually during the meeting. Among those present were the head of cloud seeding for the UAE NCM team, pilots, and the head of the cloud seeding department. CM Nakvi recognized their efforts by presenting certificates of appreciation and commemorative shields to each member and conveyed his thanks for successfully bringing artificial rain to Lahore, marking a historic event in Pakistan. He emphasized that the nation would always remember this successful experience, which was a culmination of 12 years of efforts to achieve artificial rain in Punjab, including Lahore. Going further into the false claim that recent weather modification activity was the first time it has happened in Pakistan, Dr. Syed Faisal Saeed stated on 21 January in the news, that Pakistan Meteorological Department conducted cloud seeding experiments on warm clouds in Pakistan during the summer of 2000. The activity emerged as a consequence of history's worst drought, in provinces in the southern half of the country in 1999-2000. The experiments showed some success in bringing rain over some parts of Sindh and Balakistan province, India. Current status. Unknown. Source reliability, 100%. The Business Standard reports on 14 January. Can cloud seeding be the answer to India's growing problem of uneven rains? There is, of course, no such thing as uneven rain and there is clear NLP in use in the article, to claim uneven rain is a problem. The article romanticizes weather modification activity by stating, in the summer monsoon months of 2018 and 2019, two aircraft went up over Solapur, in Maharashtra, on a mission that was one of a kind to infuse the clouds with particles having an affinity for water vapor. This was part of the Cloud Aerosol Interaction and Rainfall Enhancement Experiment, CAIPEX, Phase 4, conducted over two years to test the feasibility and effectiveness of cloud seeding to create rain, to infuse the clouds with particles having an affinity for water vapor, like they are making a cup of tea and not modifying the weather. India started modifying its weather in the mid-1950s so there should be minimal concern about China who started their operations around 1958. WION reported on 20 January that, the Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh said on Thursday, January 18, that there is a possibility that China might be weaponizing the weather for strategic gain. Though he did not mention China explicitly. His mention of Indian states sharing borders with China signaled that it was indeed the country he was talking about. He also said that climate change was not just a phenomenon related to weather but it was also linked with national security. Panama Proposed Source reliability, 100% Washington State University has published an emotional NLP blackmail article, on 16 January coupling in the procurement of products with the Red Sea conflict and low water levels in the Panama Canal, 
it's possible that these disruptions could start to impact some of our orders for things like scientific and research equipment that comes from overseas. Eric Rogers, Senior Director of Procurement and Contract Services at WSU, said. We could see increased lead times, and we could see things get more expensive, which is obviously stated to justify and give weight to the statement that the Panama Canal Authority is exploring options like cloud seeding to increase rainfall and creating an artificial lake, but these would take significant time and financial resources. UAE Ongoing Source Reliability 100% the Al Arabia news outlet has reported on the 18th of January about the UAE's current plan. UAE to carry out hundreds of cloud seeding missions in 2024 to tackle water scarcity. From shooting hygroscopic salt flares into the clouds to deploying unmanned aerial vehicles, the country uses a variety of methods to force rainfall and thereby ensure water security. Meteorological experts are expected to carry out as many as 300 cloud seeding missions across the United Arab Emirates in 2024 to encourage rainfall and tackle water scarcity. The UAE Research Program for Rain Enhancement Science and the National Center of Meteorology, UAE REPNCM, the task force behind the country's cloud seeding program told Al Arabiya English. United Nations, UN, Environment Program Source reliability, 100%. The UN published an article on the 17th of January, titled, As Shortages Mount, Countries Hunt for Novel Sources of Water which stated, a growing number of countries are experimenting with cloud seeding, a technique in which clouds are sown with silver iodide, to make them rain or snow. Nations from Australia to South Africa have invested in the technology, and China has one of the world's most ambitious programs. However, guardrails need to be put in place, say experts, to avoid unintended consequences, such as drought in other regions. When they say nations, the WMO states between 50 and 100 countries have weather modification programs. Climate modification. Geoengineering. Source reliability, 100%. The NPJ Climate Action Site has published a paper on the 15th of January, by Hector Pollitt, Jean-Francois Mercure, Terry Barker, Pablo Salas and Serban Skrishu, titled The Role of the IPCC in Assessing Actionable Evidence for Climate Policymaking. The abstract states the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, which perform the largest available analytical exercise in this area, offer scarce analytics on climate policy design. Here, we explore how, despite its neutral, policy-relevant but not policy-prescriptive principle, the IPCC analytical scenario process, in working group 3, on mitigation, has adopted an implicitly prescriptive policy position, in favor of carbon pricing. The paper states further, an exclusive focus on carbon pricing, may give undue focus on particular low-carbon technological developments, that may not necessarily become reality. Notably, in SF 15 it has led to a substantial debate on the feasibility and desirability of geoengineering and negative emissions technologies, solutions that have yet to see any notable deployment. The deployment statement is questionable and should not be seen as fact due to citizens reporting that SAI is being carried out, over their location, in many countries. Climate Modification Stratospheric Aerosol Injection, SAI Source Reliability 100%. On the 15th of January a paper titled, The Potential Environmental and Climate Impacts of Stratospheric Aerosol Injection, a review. Authored by Hanen, Wynn and V. Faye McNeil was published by the RSC journal, Environmental Science. In the abstract it states, given the rise in global mean temperature, as a direct consequence of increasing levels of greenhouse gases, GHG, in the atmosphere, a variety of climate engineering approaches, including stratospheric aerosol injection, SAI, have been proposed. Often criticized as a distraction from global efforts towards reducing GHG emissions, SAI aims to increase the Earth's albedo by seeding aerosols in the lower stratosphere. Climate modification. Solar radiation management or modification, SRM. Source reliability, 100%. The Stockholm Environment Institute, SEI, 
has released an article, on the 17th of January, titled Missing the Mark, facing up to the prospect of exceeding 1.5 degrees Celsius. In the article it is stated, the world could enter a doom loop, swamping the ability of governments to respond, playing into the hands of defenders of the status quo, and leading to the use of controversial technologies, such as solar geoengineering technologies to manipulate the climate. Indeed, some argue that the world will need everything in its arsenal, including geoengineering, if it is to contain temperature rise. It is also stated that, the situation has given rise to the creation of an International Climate Overshoot Commission, which has already outlined its strategies to address the prospect of breaching 1.5 degrees Celsius. Its recommendations include establishing international protocols to explore and regulate geoengineering through solar radiation modification, which is already the subject of a controversial experiment in Mexico to release sulfur dioxide particles into the Earth's upper atmosphere to reflect heat. It is important to note that the article does not mention earlier SRM projects such as SPICE or SCOPEX or David Keith's objectives etc., preferring to focus on a very recent, incoherent activity by Make Sunsets Only. Also published on the 17th of January, on the resources site. As part of an ongoing exploration of these and related issues surrounding SRM, Resources for the Future, RFF, hosted a two-day gathering of international experts, from a range of disciplines. At the event, Social Geoengineering Futures, Interdisciplinary Research to Inform Decision-Making, participants explored, the implications of SRM as a set of emerging technologies. Seven themes emerged from the discussions, all of which are ripe for further research. Climate Modification Solar Radiation Management Governance Initiative, SRMGI. Source Reliability, 100%. Featured on the UNESCO World Academy of Sciences is SRMGI. The Solar Radiation Management Governance Initiative is an international, NGO-driven project that seeks to expand the global conversation around SRM geoengineering research and its governance. The initiative is neutral on whether SRM should ever be used, and seeks to engage new voices in discussions of the underlying societal and scientific issues. A global pioneer in bringing developing country voices into SRM discussions, SRMGI co-organized the first major SRM discussion meetings in China, Ethiopia, India, Jamaica, Senegal, Brazil, and many other countries of the global south, always in concert with local partners. That was a roundup of some recent news. Hit the Substack link in the info section to get up-to-date reports, as well as instantly free articles. I'll be back soon with some more news, but until then, please take care and I'll see you next time.